Denzel Crocker. On the surface, he's your average crazy teacher who likes failing everyone and giving them a hard time in class. He believes fairy godparents are real and will do anything to prove that. Thanks to his insane determination at searching for the magic in the world, people have always avoided him when they can. He's the talk of the town, but in all the bad ways. Despite everything we know, Mr. Crocker isn't as bad of a guy as we really think when we see him. Although his actions throughout the Fairly Odd Parents prove otherwise, there's an episode that takes what we know about the character and flips it all around. After watching, it's easy to gain a completely new perspective, one where you legitimately feel bad for Mr. Crocker and his surprisingly tragic backstory. The episode in question is the secret origin of Denzel Crocker. Coming from season 3, this was undoubtedly part of the golden era in Fairly Odd Parents, around the time when the show was at its absolute best. Of course, any continuity and lore throughout the series, including now, is often dismissed or never talked about. I still want to believe that the events of this episode are completely canon, even even if later episodes don't mention it as much as they should. So with that being said, let's head into the story and see just how Timmy Turner destroyed Denzel Crocker's life. We begin with a fun time on the playground, yay! But suddenly, there's the reveal that today is March 15th. It's not a drill, as the kids go into hiding, not prepared for the horrible disaster that awaits them. What exactly does this date mean in the context of the episode? Well, it's the day when Mr. Crocker is at his worst. This date has more significance in Fairly Odd Parents history than most would assume and it's only throughout the course of the episode that we'd find out. Timmy realizes that something went down a number of years ago in March, so he takes a time scooter to uncover the truth. Not only that, but he really wants to change the events of the past so that Crocker ends up being a good guy in modern day. Things for Denzel are going pretty badly. As we travel back in time, it's clear that he's been feared by the townspeople of Dimsdale for longer than expected. He screams about fairy godparents, and despite all of his attempts, people just don't want to take him seriously. Timmy eventually decides to go to Crocker's childhood, when he was 10 years old. He is a very different person here. He goes to great lengths just to help everyone, even saving Timmy's dad from being hit by a car. We soon learn that he's miserable, thanks to his mom always leaving and a babysitter that tortures him. Sounds familiar, right? Soon we get the absolute bombshell that he had his own fairy godparents back then and their Cosmo and Wanda. Wait, what? Yeah, he suffered in many ways just like Timmy, so it only makes sense he was able to have fairies. The entire episode culminates into one massive climax on March 15th, thanks to how incredible Incredible Crocker's been to the townspeople, they dedicated an entire day just to him. He's about to give a speech, but Timmy realizes that this is the moment that changes everything and turns him crazy for the many years to come. In order to make a change, he hops on stage to stop Crocker from talking, but then at one point, there's a bunch of different microphones on the ground. Even though they're off, Cosmo decides to turn them on. That's when everything in this poor teacher's life goes horribly wrong. If you're not Thanks to Timmy screaming about his fairy godparents existing, all of Crocker's memories are erased, and the life he leads will never be the same. After looking back at all this, it's of course a paradox. Timmy heads into the past to figure out the significance of March 15th and to change events for the better, but he finds out that his going back in time is exactly what destroys Mr. Crocker. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but this happens either way, so we just gotta accept it. But what's really disappointing is that the episode doesn't have a real resolution for these characters, and instead, we just return to the status quo like nothing happened. The only thing we learned is that Timmy is the one who single-handedly made Crocker the insane, fairy believer that nobody likes. Also, the episode goes out of its way just to prove how amazing of a kid he was back in the day, and how all of that was changed because of Cosmo and Wanda's current son. We're just left with the feeling of regret, for laughing at Mr. Crocker all these years, and rooting against him because he's supposed to be the villain. Oh yeah, we know that Timmy's the one who directly destroyed Crocker, but I think some of the faults should still be given to Cosmo. He turns the mics back on so the entire entire crowd can hear everything being said, which led to the series of events that would haunt this teacher forever. It felt like a combination between both of these characters, since let's be real, Timmy was being loud even with the mics off. People were very close to him. Cosmo turning the switch on only made this bad situation into an even worse one. Denzel could have had a great life. He would obviously lose his fairies at some point in time, but it didn't have to happen this way. His entire life is categorized into this one little book, where he's distracted from everything to search for fairy godparents day and night. Night.
as he grows up, his one and only goal has remained the same, and he's wasted so many years of his life with everyone calling him crazy. Crocker is a complex case, more so than you'd expect for an innocent Nicktoon like this. One of the best parts about the secret origin of Denzel Crocker is that after the curtains close and we're done seeing the story unfold, you really can't go back to how things were. You can watch any episode of The Fairly Odd Parents with Mr. Crocker and then think about his sad backstory. He too was just like Timmy at a time. He was miserable but still wanted to help people. And knowing that it was the protagonist of the series that ruined it all, that's just really sad. Timmy gets to keep his fairies and returns to the present like nothing happened, but Crocker gets the worst end and that's just how it goes. Nothing can change and nothing will change. But at the end of the day, this goes down as one of my favorite episodes. It follows Mr. Crocker's descent into madness and why he is the way he is. He only bullied others because people have bullied him over the years, and it's tragic. But after learning what we have today, can we please just get some more love for this dude? He deserves it. Every time March 15th rolls around, you already know I'm celebrating. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.